I'm Francesco Maffei from KRA. I will introduce you uh, the news that we have here in Frankfurt. KRM33, small monitor, powered, passive. We have one on the stage there that we use for live music in the evening. And we have another one up there that we are using right now as a small PA system. The Anaconda, KAN200 is this guy, actually the first flexible speaker on the market. Then we are presenting uh, two applications, let's say three applications, one for the iPad that you can find on the iTunes store, one for the iPhone and another one for Android, for the tablets, where you can find all the catalog of the KRA products there on the desk there are the QR code with the direct link to those applications and in the one for the iPad there is a brand new tool which we call configurator that helps especially sales people and integrators to choose the right the right products from our catalog so let's say example you select the speaker You've got the subwoofer and the amplifier that you can use. You've got the software, you make your choice, you've got the preset that you need, and you finish with the pin output of the amplifier and all the accessories that you may want for that installation. Uh, we are working to bring these tools on Android and on the iPhone version of the application. And it's coming soon the new K framework. The K framework is the software that we use to control all our red line, the piccolo, the blue line, uh, the most part of our products. We are doing a new restyling of the Windows version and mainly we will be ready in two months with the Mac version. So for all the Mac users it will be able to control all our products. Let's go a little bit deeper with the KRM33. Uh, it's composed of the 3 3 inch and the 6 passive on the top. This is mainly to make it full range and to make it completely sealed. Considering that it's so compact, uh, we needed to save space as much as possible. It goes down to 60, 65 Hz with no problem. So you can use it also without the subwoofer for the main, uh, uh, the main applications. As I say, there are two, uh, two big categories where you can install this product. It can be a small wedge monitor. It's a rayball using the three loudspeakers on the front. You can create horizontal arrays to increase the SPL, to play with the horizontal pattern, depending on what you need. So TV studios, broadcast, uh, etc., House of Worship, and even live music, jazz club, uh, blues music, uh, uh, things like that. Corporate events, uh, everywhere where the fact uh, to have something really, really low profile is uh, uh, a main features that you may need. And the other application is uh, as a ceiling PA system, as I'm using it right now. There is a special wall bracket where you can connect a super clamp or skews or just whatever you need. And you can use it on the ceiling in small meeting rooms. You can use it even as an under balcony system. You can use it on the sides and vertical walls to have a left and right system completely invisible. On the on the back of the, of the speaker you have a selector that lets you choose the horizontal pattern so it can be spot, 30 degrees and what you can use to create a race or it can be flawed, 70 degrees in that case we suggested especially let's say in this situation where you, need, you use just one box to have a wider dispersion uh, 
here are the back panels. So the powered version has a standard XLR USB to have three parametric filter access to create, do basic EQ, power cone in and output, and two push buttons with a coverage, spot and food, and the bus announcement uh, EQ. Passive, and L4, in and out, and the coverage for the horizontal pattern. You can use it for installation in indoor, in outdoor, it's completely sealed, it's completely made in stainless steel and aluminium, so you can leave it outdoor, it's IP50, 54, 55, something. Yeah, something like that. Here there is a table with some technical data that you can find also on the brochures or on our website uh, just to compare it with something else. And here are some drawings of a standard application as you see as a ceiling speaker, a meeting room and a classroom, as an under balcony system, as a monitoring system. Let's pass to the Anaconda KAN200. Uh, as I said before, it's actually the first real flexible speaker that you can find on the market. It's completely shapeable on every, uh, every form that you may need. Two meters long, uh, NL4 connectors, uh, on the top and on the bottom so that you can create long lines uh, maintaining a really really thin shape IP55 to be used in outdoor so you can use it for outdoor installation either and let's say the main uh, application that we had in mind when we designed this kind of speaker was to use it as a front field speaker in the TV studios, in corporate events, uh, um, in a special scenographies where you need to hide completely the source. This is an example of a real life application down there used as a front field system. This is a picture that we have from one of our customers about uh, an installation in a church as a, a team PA system in front of the chairs, thanks to our, to our guy. And then some example that we had in mind. So, situation like this, like TV studios with the strange shape stages museum, PA systems in museum, in theme parks, uh, in any place where you need to send uh, a distributed signal all around with something quite invisible. And you can use it also in vertical, I mean it's a line array, it's two meter element uh, with a lot of small loudspeakers so it works as a line array. And Let's think about a lighting pole like this. You go there, you take two pieces, you install it with the tie wraps, and you have background music for 100 meters uh, that you may need for a wedding ceremony, for a party, where you just need to send signal around. It's something that it takes a minute to install and to configure. We have uh, we did East data for this. It's not been easy because it's quite unique, but there are the GLL files on our website. You can even use it on East Focus, but actually we suggest to use it in the, in the real East because you can, you can really do whatever you want with it. It's made using eight different sources so that you can shape what you need also in the simulation software. So to create one anaconda, you have to select eight elements. There is a short manual that comes together with the GLL file. And as you can see here, if it's a straight, it's a pure line array. If it's cubed and you can really do whatever you want, it starts to becoming a lot of single sources. So it can be really, really useful to have a simulation of 
of the result that you will have in the installation. Uh, what I just said, so some example special effect system in theme parks uh, in uh, let's say strange places. We sell it together with two socks, one black for protection and another one is white uh, so that you have the black and the white version all at once. And you may also paint the white one. You can print your log on the white one. You can do, I mean, there are a million possibilities to play with. Uh, with something like this. The ratio with the subs, uh, we suggest 112 inch at least every 8 meters, every 4 pieces. Then it goes down to 150 hertz, so it depends also from what you need. If it's a corporate application, maybe you just have the, PA, the subs from the PA and that's enough. If it's for background music, maybe it's better to put some other sub around and the amplifier. You can use our powered subwoofers, the 12 inch and the 18 inch, the 12 is there working, or the rack amplifiers. Consider that with one amplifier you can drive up to 64 meters of continuous line of Anaconda, because each channel can drive 16 pieces, and the 2 plus 2 minus it's passing through the box. So after 16 pieces, 32 meters, you switch the channel and you go on with the 32 meters more if you need. Uh, some accessory that we have, wall bracket uh, that you can use to install it on a wall or you can use it to install it on the ground as a front field system. You can use it at 45 degrees like in these 3D drawings or on the wall like this. And this is some idea of the new, some screenshot of the new software that we were talking before. So what we are going to release. This is the new Mac, inter, uh, the new Windows interface and this is the new Mac interface that we hope will be ready really, really soon before the summer we hope. That's it.